glory to God in the highest praise. I have a very good message for you tonight, and it says, Born of the Spirit of God. Born of the Spirit. When you are born of the Spirit of God, you are a different man from every other person in this world. People that are born of the Spirit of God, they are different people who are carnal. Your ways are different. The way the world wants to behave, you don't behave like them. You behave like the Spirit of God. My topic is man, born of the Spirit. Let's pray. Father, I thank you and I demand that you glorify your name in our service today as we download your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's run through our test tonight in John chapter 3 from verse 6 to verse 8. I read. That which is born of the flesh is of the flesh. And that which is born of the Spirit is of the Spirit. That which is born of the flesh is of the flesh. And that which is commune is of, in, the, in the Spirit is of the Spirit. So the Spirit is, is a neutral gender. It has no male, no female. The Spirit of God. You have to try every spirit whether they have God. The Bible says book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. He said, Brethren, believe not every spirit, but try them whether they have God. Because many false prophets have gone to the world. Believe not every spirit. So the spirit of God is what I'm talking about tonight. That you are born of the spirit of God. Born of the spirit. When you are born of the spirit, your ways are different. When you are born of the Spirit, God begins to use you and people begin to surprise because you are not led carnally. The, the world wants to be led as they command you, as they like, but you are a different person. So since the world cannot understand you, they say you are different, you don't, you don't hear what they are saying. And so they, they, misunderstand, they misunderstand you. And they misinterpret every word you say because you are born of the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, my topic is man, born of the spirit. Jesus Christ said, He that is born of the flesh is of the flesh, and he that is born of the spirit of God is of the spirit. He was talking to a man that came to him by night, you know, Nicodemus, a great teacher of the Jews, and he was a religious leader, and he didn't understand what Jesus Christ was talking about. You must be born again. And he came to ask Christ, how do I be born again? And Christ said, you are a leader, you don't understand to be born again? That he that is, he that is born of the Spirit is of the Spirit. But he that is born of common things, the way they eat five times a day, six, seven times a week, they are carnal. They cannot understand the word of God. The Bible says, First Corinthians two verse fourteen. It says, "But the natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit, because they are foolishness unto him. Neither does he know them, because they are they are spiritually designed. They are confused. The kind of man they are confused when the spirit of God is moving. I was in Revelation sometime. It was like life." It didn't look like a dream until I woke up and I know that it was a dream. And it was a fight. And so I said, I came out from the church and I was just trying to move into the church and I was outside a little bit in the, in the, the back corner of the church and almost going into the church. And suddenly, a group of people came. One of them especially came to me and he was fighting me and all that. Suddenly, I don't know how something that looked like a sword entered my hand and I push his head. And I push as I was, I drag him outside from the compound of the church, drag him to the main road. I push him, I push him, and suddenly, I, as blood was spilling out, I woke up from the dream. I said, Yes, I have killed my enemy. I began to pray and thank God that I have killed my enemies. 
Because while your ways are different, you operate under the dynamo of the power of the Spirit of God. Ladies and gentlemen, my topic is remain born of the Spirit. You are not a carnal man. You are a spiritual man. Your ways are upright before God. Let's read the next verse, verse 7. Our text is taken from John chapter 3, from verse 6 to verse 8. Where is verse 7 now? Verse 7 says, Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. If you are a carnal man, you are of the flesh. You like to serve idols. You like to have charm, to do charm because you cannot fast and pray. If you are a carnal man, you are taking the things of the flesh. Have a carnal life with a woman, you, that's not your wife, boyfriend, here and there. You are, that's what you are thinking about. Thinking about how to cause and insult people, how to fight with them. You are thinking about carnality because you are of the flesh. Amen. And Jesus Christ said, "Ye must be born again. Hallelujah. He said, do not surprise that I said unto you that you must be born again. Verse 8. He said, the wind bloweth where it listed. Hallelujah. And thou bearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell where it cometh, the wind, and whether it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, now you see the wind is blowing. You cannot even understand where it is blowing from or where it is going. So that is how a man that is born of the spirit moves. You can't understand his ways. <laughs> they said they want to understand you, but you, you, they are confused about you. Because you are born of the spirit of God. Ladies and gentlemen, my topic is gentlemen, born of the spirit. You must be born of the spirit of God and not to be carnal. Romans 8 verse 1 and 2 says, For now therefore no condemnation. To them who are in the spirit. To them who are in the spirit. Amen. And not in the flesh. Verse 2 says. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. And made us free. They, there are laws of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. That is giving us freedom tonight. My topic is remain born of the spirit. Born of the spirit. There was a day I was going with one of our pastors on evangelism. And when we were going to jealousy, as we were moving, and so we saw a lady. The lady was said, yes, this is him, you know, he's the man. He was pointing to me. He said, I saw him when I was, they were trying to beat me and kill me, kill me in my dream. This was the man that saved me, he's a pastor. He's the one that saved me. He's the look at him, he's the man. And I was looking at him because we were in a visitation and evangelism. I saw a lady pointing to me. That I came to save her in a dream. Oh my God. People who are carnal, you can't see them. It is when you are spiritual, God use your face to go and help others. He use your face to go and help others. You must be spiritually inclined. You must be born of the spirit. He that is born of the spirit is spirit. He doesn't live carnally. He's a spiritual man. He's a spiritual woman. He walk in righteousness and not in carnality. He that is born of the Spirit always give himself or herself to prayer. He that is born of the Spirit always give himself to the Word. Amen. So there are things that give the witnesses in heaven. This is the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. They give record in heaven as witnesses that you are a child of God. I like the book of Romans. It really dealt with the spirit, the, 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 the story of the spirit of God. I like reading it and I like it so much. Please, I beg of you, try to study the book of Romans. If you want to be born of the spirit of God, stop, stop, try to study the book of Romans. It will teach you a lot of things you didn't know. Christ said, He that is born of the spirit is of the spirit. And is the born of the flesh of the flesh. You must be born again. I like what David said. David says in the book of Psalm 51, verse 10 to 12, he said, Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. But restore unto me, O God, the joy of thy salvation 
and upon me, O God, with your free spirit. The Bible says, Cast me not away from your presence. Renew your spirit within me. Hallelujah. What well, at the beginning he said, create in me a clean heart. Amen. I renew a right spirit within me. What did he mean? Take the carnal spirit from me and drop in me the spirit of life. Amen. So you must know that it is good to be born of the spirit of God. You must be born of the spirit. And once you are born of the spirit, you are a different person. You are a different man. People who are born of the Spirit of God are the registered candidate for eternity. When you are canon, everyone is not belonging to you. But when you are spiritual, you have heavenly abodes. When you have a seat there to abode in your house in heaven. Amen.